The Hungry Vegan. I'm Jade. Today marks day 64 for me eating a fully raw fruitarian diet. Now I've had a lot of questions over the last couple of days so I thought I'd answer them and help you as much as possible if you are deciding to come into this raw lifestyle. Firstly, what made me decide to go raw? Well, I was having lots of trouble. I was constantly bloated and I was constantly breaking out in rashes and I had shocking nodule acne and I had hoped a cooked um, plant-based diet would cure my acne but nothing was getting rid of it. And then I was having constant allergic reactions every time I was having anything with wheat in it. And then it got to, I took the wheat out and I was still having allergic reactions and I was having rashes just break out all over my body. And I just got so fed up. And I have tried being raw before and it really hadn't worked that well. And I think a common reason for me why it hadn't worked well and why it doesn't work well for a lot of people is I just simply wasn't eating enough. When you're not eating enough, it's really easy to fail on a raw diet. So I spent a lot of time studying um, raw nutrition to ensure that I could be successful at it and to try and cure myself. So how have I gone with my rashes and my acne? Well, my rashes at this point are completely clearing and I've nearly cleared up on my chest, which I showed that a couple of weeks ago, but I'll um, put a photo in of just how bad I was and I had rash completely all over my legs, my backside, everywhere. It was shocking. Now my acne is getting better, um, I've still got a tiny little bit along my jawline um, and a tiny little bit on my cheeks, um, I'm not wearing any makeup, I haven't been wearing makeup now f since I went raw because the whole purpose of me becoming raw is to try and clean my skin so I thought you know what I'm just going to have to stand proud and say well this is me, <laughs> this is what I look like in order to clean my skin and not clog it up with makeup. And I know there's plenty of mineral makeups out there and whatever, but I'm still clogging my pores up. And I thought, no, I'm just going to clear it up. Now, at first, when I started to do um, this rawness, I was using an organic um, cleanser. It still wasn't clearing. I then went to use um, bicarbon vodka. Um, I made like a gua sha. It uh, still wasn't working. I then went to just plain for, um, bicarb and I thought this still isn't working. And I have read and read about people doing nothing on their skin but just water. And I thought, oh, I'm going to give it a go. So for the last 10 days, I've used nothing but water on my skin. And I don't know if it's the fact that I've been on a juice fast recently, the fact that the, the rawness, so to speak, is starting to kick in, or if it's washing my face in water or a combination of all three, but it's really, really starting to clear the last 10 days and I've been really happy with the results and I'm looking forward to seeing in, let's say, another 64 days how my skin will actually look. Um, I am planning on staying raw because I'm not having allergies. I'm not waking up in the middle of the night with red welts because I've woken up scratching myself so heavily and I'm feeling fantastic and I don't care that we live in a world of cooked food um, because I know we do. This is what's working for me and my body and this is what the most important thing for me is. So that's where my skin is at this point in time. Now weight loss, I, make it, I made it very clear at the beginning, I never ever went into eating raw to lose weight. I've been in the weight loss industry um, for six years. I know how to lose weight if I wanted to lose weight. I had, when I became vegan, put on a bit of weight and that wasn't due to being a vegan or being on a plant-based diet. That was simply because I started experimenting and using a lot of different foods and probably using a lot more oil than I was used to and I gained weight. And since uh, cutting the oil out of my diet, which I have done over the last nine months, my, and eating a high carb diet, 
um, the weight has started to slightly come off. And um, I've lost five and a half kilos in the last 64 days. So that's about 12 pounds if you're from America, UK or Canada. It, um, so I've lost 12 pounds and I'm happy with that. Um, ultimately, I know we um, <laughs> look at the banana girls and say, yeah, that's what I want a body like. Yeah, I'm honest. If my body gets like that, I'm going to be happy. Don't get me wrong, but it's not my main mission. Um, where I'm at, my main mission is for my skin and my own mental clarity and well-being. But I can't complain when I've lost weight and I haven't cut anything out of my diet. I'm not eating um, for starvation, which I would never promote. I'm eating over 2,000 calories a day, which is huge. It's just amazing how much I'm eating. Um, if you're interested in seeing how much I eat, I will um, put the link to um, how much I eat in a day in the description and you can have a look there. But I'm eating plenty and um, I'm feeling fantastic. So what am I eating? I'm eating basically mainly fruit. I'm eating a lot of fruit. Fruit's very healing for your body. It makes me feel fantastic. I'm full of energy. The amount of energy I have is in abundance. I can't even describe how much energy I have. I just I can't believe how much energy I have. And I'm eating a lot of greens. Um, I'm eating about 200 grams minimum of greens per day, and that's about half a pound. And that would be um, your spinach, your collard greens, your kale, bok choy, pak choy, whatever it is you want to have, all of that raw greens, I'm having that in my diet. I'm also having a lot of veggies, so, um, you know, your carrots, uh, sweet, uh, not sweet potato, pumpkin, broccoli, mushroom, and then your other, fr they are fruits, but we do sort of class them as a salad, your cucumber, your celery, your lettuce, and things like that, they're what I'm also having. Okay, and what is keeping me going? Um, I've had a lot of people asking me, oh, aren't you sick of eating raw? No, I'm not. It's amazing. I crave nothing. And I've never, I, I, the only time I've ever felt like this is when I've been on juice fast. And that's because ultimately my body is getting the correct nutrition. I crave nothing. You know how sometimes you can sit there and you say, oh, I feel like a chocolate or I feel like chips or I feel like this. I don't, I don't feel like anything like that. At first, I admit, the first probably 20 days when I first started, I was, and I was eating a lot of um, dehydrated crackers and wraps and stuff like that to keep me going. Um, I haven't made any for a while. I made some kale chips the other day, and they were yummy. Um, but I haven't, I haven't really, sorry, that's my dog. I haven't really been craving any of the dehydrated crackers or anything like that and feeling, like, oh, I have to have it. But if you do need to have it to keep you raw, just do it. Um, but I just want for nothing. I'm so satisfied because I just feel like my body is getting absolutely everything it needs. And I guess I've been very creative. I'm enjoying a lot of new recipes and I love sinking myself into coming up with new things to eat, which I always share on Instagram or in my um, raw group, which is Raw Vegan of Fruitarians for Life. Please join. And um, I think that's something that's keeping me going too because everything I make, I'm just getting excited to have it because it's so delicious. Now, exercise. People have been asking me, do I exercise? Yes, I do, but I've always exercised. And to be honest, I don't exercise the way I used to. Years ago, when I was at my tiniest, I exercised like a fiend until my body broke down. Um, I'm not exercising like a crazy person. I damaged my feet very severely a couple of years ago. So I'm very careful as to what I do. I I run probably two to three times a week, about five kilometers. Um, I bounce on my rebounder a couple of days a week as a warm up, and then I go on my exercise bike, and then I do some strength training and a bit of aerobics or something like that. Um, I'm doing my lunges, my squats. I did some really heavy lunges yesterday, and my legs are killing me. But um, 
nothing major, at least an hour's worth of exercise a day on the days where I don't run and I do the strength training and the rebounder, I generally go on a 45 minute walk as well. So it's nothing hardcore, anybody can do what I'm doing. Um, you don't have to think, oh yeah, but she's running marathons and she's doing that. No, I'm not. It's just really basic exercise. Um, and if you're not into, if you can't do the 5k run, don't think you have to, go on a walk on that day, go on an hour walk, but walk, don't walk, you know, make sure you're active. Um, social situations, another question people are asking, how do you handle that? I don't actually socialise that much. Uh, <laughs> sounds dreadful but when I do I socialize with my idea of socializing is I'll meet up with a friend and we'll go for a walk or we might um or I go out with family and we might go to a vegan cafe it's never a big deal I can eat something raw I am at home a lot my family are used to all my weird and wonderful different eating ways and they just go with the flow I eat before I go somewhere. If I do have to go somewhere and I don't think I'm going to be catered for, I eat before I go or I make sure I bring my fruit and my salad with me. Ring the people before you go. If you're embarrassed, you think, oh, I don't really want to make them, you know, think I'm rude. Ring them before, beforehand and say, I'm just letting you know I'm eating raw. I'm going to bring my own food. I don't want to put you out. I know I was, um, the other day, I was at work and... Uh, one of the ladies brought in a cake, which I wouldn't have eaten anyway because I'm vegan. But she said, oh, I'm sorry, Jade, I should have brought something in for you. And I said, no, it's no drama. I've got my fruit. And what else was she going to bring in? Another bit of fruit. So it was no big deal. But let people know. Don't be embarrassed of what you're doing. Be proud um, what uh, that you are eating raw. Lead by example. Because if people can see the healthy results in you, they're going to follow it and it's going to bring people either to this raw life, but ultimately it's going to bring them to veganism, which is what we want. Um, caffeine, people have asked me lots of questions about ca ca caffeine. I've never drank coffee my whole life, so it hasn't been an issue for me. Ultimately, I don't recommend caffeine. It's a stimulant, the same reason I don't recommend cacao. I'm going to do a video on cacao and caffeine shortly to explain um, the negative effects of them on your body, but I've never been an advocate for them. Alcohol, yet again, I don't drink. Um, it'll be nine years this year since I've had any alcohol in my life. Um, I don't recommend for anybody to have alcohol if you want to be healthy. Um, healthy people don't drink alcohol. Simple as that. Um, I really, I can't, I, I will not make room for um, to help people find a way to have alcohol in their life, pretty much. Um, alcohol's toxic, it's a drug. Simple as that. So they're pretty much um, the main questions that I've received. If there's any more questions, please fire ahead. Oh, how did I forget the last question? I put up a photo of me approximately um, 60 plus days ago and a photo of me um, on Saturday. And I had somebody ask me if I'd had Botox. As you can see, I can wrinkle my whole face up. No, I haven't. Um, <laughs> the power of raw is amazing. And I'm hoping um, that in another 60 days that I can rejuvenate even further. Um, I'm nearly 40. When I say nearly 40, I haven't turned 39 yet. I'm 39 this year. But I've, and I've had two children. I've got a 19-year-old and an 18-year-old. Um, I want to rejuvenate, of course I do, who doesn't want to when you're getting on to my age. Um, if I can by the time I'm 40, look, 35, I'd be happy. So that's what I'm aiming for, why not? Why not want to make yourself look healthier, younger, fitter? Um, that's my aim, I'm sticking with raw, I'm helping anyone out there who wants to become raw, and that's it for, for today. I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Share my video. Okay, I will see you soon.